Now, as for the UTRGV soccer teams, for the first time in over a year, they were able to take the field at game speed today in a closed exhibition game. Local 23's Kira Grogan caught up with the women's team yesterday to see how they prepared. We haven't played since March 3rd, um, so it's a big challenge, but everyone's facing the same challenges. Um, of course, it, it becomes uh, a question of who has the best competitive competitive advantages. Similar challenges, but all arriving in different waves. Our first opponents, Texas A&M Corpus Christi, they were allowed to play fall friendlies. So they're way ahead of where we would be. A disadvantage for UTRGV women's soccer, but on the other hand... There's teams that haven't even been allowed to train yet. So it's all kind of evens out. In a pandemic sports season, you take what you can get. Ultimately, it's about managing the training sessions and the, the methodology you're trying to impose on them the same way you would any other season. With 17 new faces on the roster, team chemistry will be a priority. We're strangers to each other, really. I mean, we, from a footballing standpoint, from a soccer standpoint. So the, the, the process to get to where we want to go it's still a process. The Vaqueros will finally begin that process tomorrow. Tomorrow is an, another training session, really. It's just a, uh, an opportunity to, to evaluate players, evaluate systems, and also see if what we've been working on in training, what we've been teaching, is being applied. Reporting for Valley Central Sports, I'm Kira Grogan. Now, as for how that game went, it was close to the media. We'll have to wait and see how the ladies look when they hit the road to face Corpus Christi on February 5th. Well, good luck to those girls there. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you. Thanks.